When I'm up through the night, I can't turn down the noise, tear all the worries out of my mind about who I'm supposed to be. I start to believe I can't get it right. Remember the days I let slip away, they were simple at times. Mama told me before you leave, if there's only one thing you remember from me. Good morning guys. It is now Sunday morning. Uh, it's probably around 8 o'clock. Uh, it's kind of windy out actually. But you know what? The sun is out. I think it's going to help out the bite. Sun and wind. I think it's going to help out a lot. Uh, we're, we just ate breakfast. We're kind of ready to go. But you know, we're kind of taking our time. Peter's over there trying to catch a crayfish. All I can say is you got to come up here. I love being up here. The fishing's great. Uh, if you know what you're doing, the fishing's great. If you come here during the spawn, the, the bass fishing is phenomenal, especially on top water. Uh, fall time here, smallies, we've caught, our smallies, we've caught them mainly, we caught them shallow. We, we've seen some wolf packs that was cruising around these shallow waters. Uh, but they mainly like to sit out deep on those deeper rocks. So yeah. So we'll see you guys when we're out fishing. Um, can't wait for that. So, yeah. Here's a little tip for you guys. If you guys need an anchor up here in the boundary waters, grab uh, just one of these basic anchor rope stuff, I don't know what to call it, with a uh, carabiner on the end. And all you really need is a basketball net, a heavy duty basketball net. Tie it off at one end. And then just throw some rocks in there. I'm about to put more rocks in there because I lost a few from last night. But just put some rocks in there and you got yourself a portable and heavy duty, oh, somewhat heavy duty, anchor. It's good enough to hold you. It's a good little tip. I was advised about it and it works very well. I'm going to be doing this more often from now on. Here's on. It's the sun. The sun came out and he bit. <laughs> All right, Peter's on. That's actually a decent one too. Are you for this? Yep. Never ready. Smallies are never ready. Yeah. Oh, you're a good one. Okay. Woo! Oh. Finally. <laughs> Pounder or two. Yeah, let's weigh them. A bait. Three six. Three six. Holy crap, dude. God dang. <laughs> he is so orange and brown. Oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. You bit right there. Ah, no, don't do that. Ah! Damn. 
Ah, my view. Let's go. You get. Got one. Right there, dude. You serious? Right there. Double, double. Where's your skill? Where's your skill? Give me your skill, quick. Look at that. Double, guys. Double. Nah, dang it. Three, eight. Three and a half. Another one? Yeah, I want. Out there? Nope, nope. Peter. <laughs> oh my god. That's a high three. Oh, that might be a four. Might be my biggest ever in my life. I got it. Okay, you're good. I just got a giant. I just got a giant. This guy's got to be four pounds. Ready? Yep. Let's go. Where? <laughs> Chill. You need to relax there, buddy. Two ounces away from a four pounder. Jumping. Nope, you're not jumping. So pretty.
In the middle. Yep, in the middle. Look at that beauty. All right, guys, look at this. Look at this. Oh, he's been caught before. Choked. Choked. Maybe. Mouth is ripped. Beaver, Kira Jake, half ounce. So we've been fishing for a couple hours and it's been pretty slow. So I told I told Sam that I'm gonna try a hop, working it like how I work weeds, which is just hopping it and doing whatever. That was the very first cast I did and it worked and then I caught I caught this guy. <laughs> I think he wants to scale. Yeah, let's weigh him. Oh, what? 315. 315. Almost there. Almost there. Get one more last shot. Look at that. Look at that He's beauty. long, dude. He's so long. Wow. I found out I was recording two seconds earlier. <laughs> Not how good at all. <laughs> Super nice channels right here. Peter Shorebangy. This is the, ch the campsite that. This was the campsite that we originally found. Uh, this shore spot, this channel spot, when we came out in 2018, a couple years ago. Uh, let me turn that dark brightness down a little bit. There we go. We actually came out here in 2018. We found this spot. Peter doing exactly what he's doing right now. He was getting fish. Did you get a fish? Fish. I don't know. I don't think so. But this is we came out here 2018. Peter's doing that, messing around, he catches one. Uh it was like a almost it was a four pounder, I think. So then that led us to just start fishing here and we start killing it, like killing it just from the shore right here. Um that's why we've been fishing this whole time, this whole this channel right here. This is an amazing channel. Uh this is not that far across. We, we cast more than half the distance, which is, does, it shows how not wide it is. Uh, it's a little channel in the middle, but there's rocks that come all the way out to the side right here. It makes like a little tiny point right there. It becomes mud, almost nothing. And towards the end over there, it becomes a lot of rock pretty far out there where uh, I caught my fish earlier way out there. It becomes all rock and then it drops straight down. But this side is mainly more of a point. Fish will travel along that rock point right there or that rock drop right there and they'll they'll sit from there all the way up here because it's all rocks it's an amazing point uh, as you guys can see it was holding a lot of fish uh, so today it's just been like usual just throwing a ned rig or a jig or something at the bottom something that has a crawl imitation let me turn the brightness back up 
pretty much anything that's a crawl imitation, you crawl on the bottom, slowly hopping it, moving it, dragging it. Um, the fish will bite. The walleyes and the bass. Other than that, I think uh, it's time to start a fire. So let's see, let's go get the fire started. Guys, look at this. We're shore banging. Peter's on. And I just caught one. <coughs> we got a double. Bam, look at that. What up? Shore banging, guys. So much easier. All right. Time for the release of our fish. Woo! Beauty. Shore being at its finest here, guys. This is how it all started. It's hot right now and it's getting dark, but I'm loving it. We're gonna be out here until the fish is done fighting. We don't care. We got the whole camp here, so. Alright, I am night fishing and I just caught my personal best. It's only four pounds, four ounces. I haven't caught anything over four, sadly, but this is my first four pound smallie night fishing. This is wow. I wish I had the camera on, but. Just hopping a jig on the bottom and I was popping it, popping it, and I felt this weird thump on it. I'm like, what? Is that really a fish? And I set the hook. Or actually I reeled up on it a little bit and I felt him pull back and I'm like, that's a fish. So I set the hook. Let's see if she's ready to go. There she goes, guys. There she goes. Never mind, she wants to sit in, she wants to stay near shore. There she goes. That was so awesome. Night fishing for a smallmouth. We're just doing this for fun. Hopefully we can catch a small one to eat again because we're like, eh, we should still eat some more, but holy crap. Wait, 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 wait. Can you repeat what you said earlier? 
chill. <laughs> there she goes. We we're trying to catch a small one to eat, but then catch a big one. So there you go. Hmm. That was fun. morning guys so we did our fishing uh, we actually had a morning bite uh, we were kind of late on it we we're part towards the end of it we woke up at like 6 30 Peter started killing us so I got out probably start fishing by 7 uh, I'm pretty sure if we got out by like 5 5 30 we would have been right on the morning bite uh, it would have been a hot bite uh, the thing is this morning the bite the fish were a little smaller they were about that one and a half to two and a half pound range nothing over three or nothing even that big but it was still fun to fish for him uh, bite that off around eight o'clock and then it's been dead since so we're just packing up see we still got the tent to pack uh, we've been cooking eating trying to eat the rest of our food just trying to clean up as much as we can and get ready to go it's about 10 20 our goal is to leave by like 12 so we can probably get home by like six, hopefully. Six or seven. Uh, other than that, man, that's it. This is the Bonju Waters trip. Uh, next time you see us, we'll probably be paddling back where we'll be at the, the, uh, the launch. So I'll see you guys later. What's up, guys? Me and Peter, we just did, we're leaving, so we just did the first part of the portage. We just brought our bags. And now we gotta go back and grab the canoe. Uh, it's a little over half a mile of a portage, but it ain't too bad. It's taking a little break, so we'll be back, and you'll see the canoe, and then we should be able to go home. See you guys. Right, yeah, the canoe will be right here. There you go. The canoe's right there. Told you guys, magic. All you need is a finger snap. So we made it. All we gotta do left is paddle. We got a mile, mile and a half paddle back to uh, the boat, the launch. And we're, we're there. The wind sucks, so the wind is blowing right towards us in the direction we need to go. We need to go east, but the wind is blowing from the east. It's going to suck, but I mean, whatever. You see the wind blowing. Oh, look at that. It's 1.10 p.m. We left camp at around... 11.33, yeah, 11.33. So we we're supposed to be back over there by around 2, 1.30 to 2 was our shooting time. So we should be able to make it if we don't stay here too long. And if the wind isn't too hard. <laughs> oh, uh, so we made it though, but we see you guys, uh, we see you guys at the launch. Oh, 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 look at that, we made it back. Oh. We made it back, just like that, magic. Oh, I don't, I don't know how to do it. I wish I could do that all the time. Uh, well, pretty much that's it, guys. Me and Peter, we've got another trip to put in the books, and this was definitely probably the best fishing I've ever done out here. Yeah. This, so. this is in consideration with the walleyes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I wish it was top water all day, like how it is in the springtime, but I'm not going to complain dragging a little crawl on the bottom. Uh, that was a lot of fun. So, I mean, I wish I could come back already in like a week. 
But uh, you know what? I think it's time to go home, get back to life. Uh, maybe go back and uh, catch a seven pound largemouth. Peter here the other day caught a six pounder right before we came up here where I caught my six pounder. So we're probably gonna have to go back there soon and try to do some more PB hunting up there. We haven't done much largemouth hunt fishing this year, huh? Or at least big largemouth. Uh, we do fish big largemouth. It's just this year we've been more concentrating on numbers and learning how to be better fishermen, being better bass fishermen, be able to find them and catch them. But time is 1.56, two o'clock was the goal. We made it, so you know what? I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to shower. I'm ready to shower too. But we got a four hour drive back to the Twin Cities, 30 minute drive back to Ely, then a four hour drive back to the Twin Cities. So like always guys, hit that bell button down below. Like, share, subscribe. Keep watching our videos, it means a lot to us. Um, we have a lot more coming. And this, this has been an awesome, awesome trip. If you've never been to the Bonji Waters, never been to Minnesota ever, this is a destination. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. So it's as primitive as you can get. So like always, weather's raining or shining, you saw the weather, always be down to fish. See you guys next time.